Jesus will transform my life. Yes. But he has not transformed your life. Imagine the person that is preaching to me. No, look at yourself. Look at yourself. You are telling me about that. Jesus will transform my life. But your life is like this. Look at the shoes you are wearing. Look at the shoes you are wearing. Look at the clothes you are wearing. Look at your Bible. Look at your Bible. <laughs> Anytime you want to see me, just call out my name. Bakuta! 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 My church is 1,000 and a few members above 1,000. I'm not satisfied with this growth. After three weeks, 1,000 and few members. No, I'm not satisfied with this group at all. I heard that you are making arrangement to take your husband to the mortuary. Please, don't do that. I have the ability and the capacity to wake up your husband to life again. I can bring him back to life. I have that capacity. <laughs> you, see, you, are, you are such a very sweet girl. I enjoyed it myself. Oh, you're a lovely girl. Sweet. I never knew you, you, you would still be intact. Eh? I never knew that you, you have not known a man. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Will you stop that nonsense now? No problem. The blessing and the multiplication of God's beauty upon your head. Yes, yes, I pray for you that the favor of God will be upon you, the enlightenment of God will be upon you. I pray for you that your enemies will from this moment be dying one after the other and you will make it. Yes. What are you trying to do? Will you stop that nonsense now? Ah. What is that? What is the meaning of that? Ah. Rubbish. Uh, you see, <laughs> you should sure understand what I'm doing. You're no longer a kid. Uh, 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 please, let's go to the room and finish what you have just started, okay? It's going to be. No. Uh, experience with me, your oh, heart is going to be a wonderful one and a pleasant one. Can we go to the bedroom now and come to the bedroom? You slapped me. Please move out. Kick you off. Carry your things and go. Kick you off. You son of a bitch. Carry your things and please move out. Go, 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 go. You slapped me. Go. You slapped the apostle of God. The bishop of God who slapped me. That will be the last slap you will do, woman. You won't try that anymore. Lakota! 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 Please, I'm very sorry. I love you so much. If what? I need you. I need you more than you need me. <laughs> you, you, you need, you, you need me more than I need you. Please, let's go to the bedroom. Oh, okay, okay, okay thank you. Wait, hey. on, let's go, let's go, let's go, quick, 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 quick. <clears throat> so you mean that man by the name Samson slept with you? Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, very sorry, sir. I, I, I didn't know what really came over me. I, I wasn't conscious of what I was doing. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. What took you to his church in the first place? How would I want you and other church members that you should be aware of him? I told you of what God told me about that guy. 
that he is nothing but sheep in wolf's clothing. These are the end time fake pastors and bishop. And yet you went. I'm troubled and pressed up to Tina. I can't find a man to marry me. And I know that Pastor, you, you have tried for me, but I felt that your power cannot set me free. And that is why I went to you. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is Jesus that heals. He is the greatest deliverer. Not me, not any man. And the Bible says there is time for everything. Time for everything. Every miracle has its appointed time. Your miracle will come when it will. You can't force it. So if you are impatient with God and you went to the devil for a miracle, oh, I'm sorry for you. Because the devil himself will visit you with his own miracle, fake miracle, which will bring sorrow and torment. Can you see what happened now? You went to a fake man of God. And he removed your flower. He removed the glory of your flower. He deflowered you. And rendered you empty. You are nothing now but an Ichabod. The glory has departed. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit has bidden you farewell. Ah. I'm sorry for you. Jesus Christ, Hi. mercy. Ah, Pastor, have mm -hmm. mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Mercy, I pray for mercy. Pastor, please pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. It is well, my daughter. It is all right. I believe God has forgiven you. He has seen the remorseness in your heart. And we are going to pray for deliverance that God will deliver you from those terrible Amen. evil things He has spawned in you. Amen. And afterward, I'll go and see that man called Samson because enough is enough. I will have to see him. Yes, the power of God must conquer the power of devil. Yes, light of God in me must conquer the darkness in him in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Ah, enough is enough. Yes, enough is enough. Because he has been used of the devil for long. But the power of God in me must confront the power of the devil in me. The light of God in me must consume that darkness in me. By the peace of God. Stand up so that we go and pray. Pastor Claremont. Pastor Clemens, you are welcome to my palace, your house. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me that you'd be coming? You didn't tell me that you'd be visiting me. There was no notice as regards to that. You didn't call. Pastor Samson, I'm here to ask just a question. That what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and loses his soul? Pastor Samson, I'm here to warn you, to admonish you that you should retrace back your step to Calvary. I mean, from counterfeit to original. Because 
Jesus Christ loves you. Even in this your deplorable spiritual state. Come back to Jesus and give your life to Jesus Christ. How dare you come to my house and talk to me the way you did? Mind your tongue. Or else I put it out for you. Pastor Samson, you cross the line. I mean, you cross the boundary. The very moment you rape a member of my church. I mean, the moment you defile the apple of the Lord's eyes. The moment you molested a sheep under my shepherdhood. Under my care. Your cup of iniquity. Your cup of offenses. A fool. Shut up. And is overflowing. Shut up your mouth. Pastor Samson. How dare you talk to me like that, Pastor Samson? How dare you? Huh? I did it. I did it. I slept with that mm, beautiful dancer. And as a matter of fact, I want to tell you this. That your wife is the next lady, the next woman on the line that I'm going to sleep with. He don't know me. He don't know me. I can do and undo. I have the power hmm, to kill. I also have the power to bring back to life. Have you given me power? I have the power to plant and to pull. I have the power to build and to destroy. I have the power to gather together and also scatter. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've not come to fight you. I've not come to kill or destroy. Rather, I've come to call you to repentance. That you should give your life to Jesus Christ before you face the fierce anger of the Almighty God. <laughs> I mean the fierce wrath of God. Repent before it is too late for you. That's my warning. I'll take my leave. No, 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 you can't go. You can't go. <laughs> you came to my house uninvited. <laughs> you came to insult me. And you must see the severe consequences of that your stupid, funny attitudes, Pastor Clemens. No animal, either by omission or commission, goes to the den of a lion and comes back alive. Any animal, either by omission or commission, that jumps into the den of a lion, the lion will devour such an animal severely. Pastor Clemens, you have actually beating more than you can do. And for that, you do this! Stop! Yes. Paradise. Ah! 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 Don't paradise! Yeah! Good! Yeah. Good! Yeah. Good! No! Ah! 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 To be church. Can you go out? Put it in the church. The rules are not manners. And that way, there are more people who come into the church. Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. Who can battle with the Lord, Samson? Who can battle with the Lord? Who can battle with the Lord? I said nobody. Ha! Where have you heard that a counterfeit power fights a powerful power and that counterfeit power overcomes a powerful power? Where have you heard that a fake fire tries to consume a powerful power? It is not possible. I say it is not possible because I carry a powerful power. I carry a consuming fire which cannot be quenched. It cannot be quenched. The force in me is unstoppable. The fire is me, it's unquenchable. And I will show you the test of that power today. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, say that. Say the Amut. I command you in the name of Jesus. Say the Amut. I won't, I won't, I won't. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, okay. Say that. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
I'm seated. I'm seated. I did not ask you to sit on the couch. You can't be sitting on the couch when I'm standing. Stand up and sit on the floor. I just sit on the fire. Sit on the fire. Where is the fake power you are carrying about? Where is the counterfeit power? It can't stand before the fire of God. I now curse you in the name of the Lord. That Samson, as you seated, there shall you remain forever. You will never move. You'll be crawling about. You can't stand up on the ground in Jesus' name. You the I can't I can't get up. That's your punishment. Bye. Sorry, I'm very, very sorry. Please, please forgive me. Ah. Well, as I've told you before, the spirit I carried is not the spirit that fights. It's not the spirit that kills. Not the spirit that destroys. It's the spirit that reconciles men to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I forgive you. Oh, yeah. Stand up. Arise! In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you can see that all your power is fake. You can see that all the small God we are carrying, they are useless in the presence of the Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, are you ready to give your life to Jesus Christ? I need to let me pray for you. I should need that. Need that. Let me pray for you. I've never need that for him. I've never need that. That's it, like him. No, no. I say that. Father. Danger. Danger. Very dangerous. Hey, 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 that was exactly what happened. Hey, even though because I pretended to accept his Lord, his so called Lord and Savior, even though because I pretended to accept his Lord and Savior, by now, maybe he would have blamed fire on me. Hey, it was tough. It was, he, he almost finished me, but I pretended. Congratulations that he did not ring fire on you. You need to be very careful of those with the mark of blood on their foreheads. Didn't you see the mark? I saw the blood though. I saw the blood on the forehead. I saw it. But I was thinking that I should be able to wipe out the blood. <laughs> you can only wipe out the mark on the forehead of the unserious ones among them. This one is very serious. You need to be very careful. Henceforth. I will. But, but I have to defeat him. I want to finish him. Eh? What can I do to finish him? I have to destroy him. The truth is this. King Dujaye has promised to get me a landed property in Abuja. And I want to, I want to carry him. Talking about Clement, I want myself and my boys to carry Clement to that piece of land and bury him alive. So that is my God. Clement, my God, to begin to put people, multitudes, to my church. That's what I want. Mm. That's what I want you to do for me. Mm. 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 King Duejai, the husband of the woman you slept with. Yes, yes, yes. The husband of the woman I, I, I slept with. Yes. Mm. Good. She was not conscious that you slept with her. She lost her memory at that moment. Yes. She was not conscious I slept with her. She was not. Mm. She didn't know that I slept with her. Fortunately for you, and unfortunately for her, she will be sick in two weeks' time. Because of your deposit in her, she will be fully sick. And doctor will diagnose colonic cancer in her case. You know as you know now, doctors will always diagnose something for every spiritual attack. In her own case, 
she will be diagnosed of colonic cancer. And her husband will spend. I spend. Oh, no. You will not be able to help them. You won't be able to help them. Hmm. She will eventually die in the most time. That is what your few deposit in her cost her. Many are dying today. Many are already dead because of evil deposit they got from a man or a woman during sex. We will continue to destroy them because of wrong sex. <sighs> oh, this is very unfair. This is not fair. This family, they've helped me so much. King Trojaye and the wife, they've really helped me. Is this the way to pay them back for their benevolence and for their kindness? Eh? For the help they, they, they gave me? Also, you didn't even tell me this before. You didn't tell me that this will result. This is going to be what is going to happen to that innocent family, to that innocent woman. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me. Sorry. Sorry about that. It has been written and cannot be changed. You see, we don't tell people about the details of what they are doing. <laughs> but that is not, it's not good. Anyway, uh, I'm more concerned about, about uh, this claimant of, it, of, of a man. Hmm? I, I want to win him. I want to defeat him. What do I do to win him? What do I do to defeat Clement? Tell me. Aya Dimension. Huh? Aya Dimension. Aya Dimension? Uh -huh. What do you mean by that? You see, power are in levels. Power are in stratas. Clement is operating on the level of power that is higher than you. Many are ignorant of this. Even the Bible talks of different levels of power. It talks of flesh and blood. A level. It talks of principalities. Another level. It talks of powers that is another level it talks of rulers of darkness in this present world another level finally it talks of spiritual wickedness in high places <laughs> you must move to another level of power a level that is greater than the level clement is presently if you must defeat him and kill him Please, please, help me. What can I do to move to a higher level of power than the power that Clement is presently operating? What can I do? <laughs> Body fluid. Body fluid. Body fluid? Body fluid. Body fluid. <sighs> what, what, what do you mean? The more body fluid you bring, the higher your level and the greater your power. But, but I have brought a lot of my body fluid to you. Eh? I have slept with all manner of women. I have slept with whites. I have slept with blacks. I have slept with the tall ones. I have slept with the short ones. I have slept with all shapes and sizes of women. I've even used the thing that you came to be using. What else do you want? I think enough is enough. I've tried. I've tried. I've slept with so many women. I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> do more. More and more. I should do more. More and more. Eat plenty of vegetables. Eat plenty of proteins. Eat more of what I gave you. To have more. More, but even at this junction, we need body fluid of other men than your own body fluid. But, this, uh, but, but how on earth will I be able to get the body fluid of other men? How can that be achieved? How can I achieve that? The body fluid of other men? How? 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 Uh. <laughs> Our world is enough for the wise. It is for the wise to cleverly fill up the girl. 
a word is enough for the wise and the wise should cleverly fear the God. The word is enough for the wise. I think I understand that idiomatic expression you have just given my me. Victory is sure. In Jesus name I win. <laughs> you welcome. I'm really very, very happy to see you. Ah, you have things with you, Mama. Hey, yes, my son. It's a very long time indeed. Ah, <laughs> I just came by to pay you a visit. Mm. I heard about your church and the exploits that God is using you for. It is very commendable. I'm proud of you. Mm. Yeah, you see, um, when I heard that you were the one that uh, is to come in next, I said this will allow you to come even to my power room. Because you are so special to me. You are my mother. <laughs> well, to your commendation, it's not my handiwork. It is quite the handiwork of God. And God alone should be giving her the glory. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Mm. But you did not do well in an aspect. Really? My hand has been paralyzed for the past seven years and you did not do anything about it. <laughs> I need healing too. Mama, yeah, well, you know, uh, really, you really want to be healed? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, when people like us are praying for people, mm, you are an extraordinary person because we are blood related. <laughs> and uh, I feel that you should be here. Actually, Mama, when you are talking about being here, oh my God, I was just three that you are about to want to be healed. <laughs> Stop that. Ah, why are you touching me in a very hard way? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, you see, I will be gentle with you. I will not be aggressive with you. And um, I can tell you that I will, I will even give you money. Not only that. Eh? Don't you want to be here? I, I know you, you are ready to be healed. Then if you are ready to be here, then you come. <laughs> Ewo! Abomination! Have you forgotten that we are blood related? Secondly, I am too old for that. I did such a thing last for the past 20 years since my husband died. More so, I don't have strength for such. Mama, you, it is going to be very easy with us. I, I will also give you something that will make you strong. You won't feel it so much, okay, Mama? <laughs> okay. More so, I will take proper care of you. Do you don't you want to be healed? Don't you want to be I, free I, I, from this paralysis? I want to be uh -huh. free. But by the time we are through with it, the paralysis will be gone. Then I will give you money. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I've just completed my pastoral training in the seminary. And God led me to this commission to serve under you. I want to serve under you for six years. I want to know God the more and learn ministerial principles. I know that you will pray whether to accept me or not. But sir, it will be a great privilege to be discipled by you. You are welcome, my brother. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, sir. Uh, well, you see, our is a very small church. As a matter of fact, God has just increased our number to 320. But we are not bothered by the number. Because to God, it is not the number that counts, but the number of souls that we are able to lead to heaven. But I feel that there are bigger churches in town. You know, where you can learn from. Why don't you go there? So, sir, like you rightly said, it, it is not the membership that counts, 
but the content of the minister. Uh, sir, the container may be very big, but the content may be very small, sir. Hmm. That is very deep, young man. Very deep. The container may be very, very big, but the content very small. Hmm. That is good. Well, as we have rightly observed, I would like to inquire with the owner of the ministry. Yes, to hear what is going to tell us about you. And uh, I also like to consult with my partner in ministry, which is my wife. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, you are blessed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you are very great. You are powerful and lovely. The moment you were through with me, I felt a big strength within me. All paralysis is gone. Ah, I felt like a twenty-five years old girl. Hmm. Jesus is good. Jesus is great. I will be coming occasionally to do this. Uh, I want to be going. Oh, uh, will you want to repeat what you did? Uh, no, 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 no. You know, I, I'm very tired now. Okay. Uh, let it be tomorrow. We will do it tomorrow. Yeah? This time tomorrow you can come back. I promise to even give you more than I have done now. Okay. <laughs> so mm. let it be tomorrow. Let me rest now. And most of you know, you saw some people outside, they all want to see me. So let it be tomorrow. Uh. Eh? It's okay. Ah. Hmm. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What Samson has done for me. It shall be permanent, permanent, it shall be permanent, <laughs> it shall be permanent. What's a sin I've done for me? It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent, brother. It shall be permanent. <laughs> shall be permanent. What's a sin I've done for me? It shall be permanent. Okay, mama, bye bye. Yeah, so tomorrow I'll be expecting you. I will give you more than what I've done now. That old woman Ayoka will die tomorrow for happy sex with her. You are just giving her the poison of death. She will die tomorrow. She will die. But that woman is the younger sister of my mother. Eh, that woman is my auntie. Oh! oh. Well, 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 I don't really mind if it is death, it is, if it is a death that will bring me more popularity, more faith, more money, and more members in my church. I don't mind. <laughs> The long and short of all what we are saying is that the Lord has given us the go ahead to allow you to work with us in the vineyard as a co-laborer. And I uh, thank God that I've discussed with my wife and she has also given her consent. So it's a collective decision. You are welcome, my brother. Thank you so much, sir. I promise you that I will be hardworking and dedicated to this commission. Yes, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yeah, God bless you, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Bye -bye. Let me be going, sir. The Lord yes, will help you. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, I understand you work with the clocks for Stouter. Yes, now that they work, Baba. Good. How much are they paying you per month? Ah, <laughs> the thing we do, 50,000 naira. Suppose you get a place, 
suppose you work for me and I pay you 100,000 naira per month. Hey, but that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will do. Good. It's going to be a secret work between the two of us. No third party should know about it. Secret work? Yes. Between you and me. Mm -hmm. Baba, if you do and well, well, neat, neat, nobody will know. Anything you want me to do, if you do and nobody will know. Okay. You get me spam. Jesus Christ. Ah, spam? I don't think give you my spam. Oh. No, I'm not actually talking about your spam. If they be my spam, we have forget spam. Who go put in body down for me? Mo go let spam. <laughs> You said you work in an hotel. Yes, yes, I do. Do you have a brothel in that hotel? Brothel, brothel. What thing be that? We don't get brothel for our hotel. I mean, where ladies are stationed, where ladies rent for their sexual activities in exchange for money. That's a brothel. Oh, oh, oh. You mean a shower place where men, they come, sleep with two men, they pay their money and leave. Exactly, precisely. Ah, we get them, we get protein. Where, where? Now, now where? Shade, Kristana, Dupe, Nade. Ah, now where? They stay, men, they come, sleep with them, go, give them money. Okay, you even know some of these adults. Okay, I, 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 but if I, if I give you 150,000 Naira so that you will use it to tip them up and get the spends of men that comes to sleep with them. How about that? See, that that does not that won't disturb your own pay. Okay. It won't disturb your own hundred thousand. Okay. Okay. So just that one fifty thousand for Christiana, Gloria, Gloria. Yes, yes, up. yes. Ah, Baba, if you do and well, well, clean job. I go get plenty condom for you. Nobody will know. I go get them for you plenty condom, eh? And nobody will know. See, men they come sleep with them, eh? Now we they throw away the condom we they use finish. Now we they throw away. So when men come to your hotel to sleep, they they, they are usually careless. They will leave their their condom, and then you will not carry it to throw away. Exactly. Now we they throw away. And let me shock you. So men even they come use one hour, two hours, and after the whole thing, now we they throw away the condom. And instead of we the true way, eh, I go get everything for you, pack and give you, eh, inside Lylon, you go full Lylon, Baba, don't worry, you they can't pay. That's good. In a nutshell, you can get me plenty condom. Baba, no worry. If, if that one know enough, I go see my friend where they work for other hotels, eh, collect them, pack them with the one I get, so I go give you. But, Sha, you know, the work no easy, you go add, you go add something, go add money, oh. Okay, I will be giving you 150,000. Oh, man. And apart from that, I will give you 100,000 for the first contract. Ah, your head did, yeah. Your head did, yeah. Your head did, yeah. I go pack up for you. Need job. Nobody will know. So, you'll be giving me your account number. I will transfer the money to you. As the money you're going to tip the girls mm. so that they will be giving you condom of men that, that comes to sleep with them. Ah. The money to you, man. No, Allah. No, Allah. No, Allah. I will do them. I will do them. That's good of you. Thank you so, let me, let, 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 me, let me, let me, give me your account number. Let me transfer the money. Oh, okay. No, Allah. No, Allah. Baba, your head did it. My account number be 2151. Sir. I'm very happy with the steady and progressive growth of the church. <laughs> Souls are getting added daily and also doing greatly spiritually. <laughs> it reminds me of the early church in the heart of the apostles. To God be the praise. Yes, He alone is to be praised for everything. So, what is the secret of church growth? Secret of church growth is something but the grace of God. The grace of God. God is a secret, nothing but God. However, God expects the shepherd he has put over the sheep to do these four things. Yes. One, hard work, commitment. 
and passion for the work. Number two, living a complete life of holiness, righteousness, and integrity. Because it is integrity that will integrate you into the integral plan of God for your life. Integrity will integrate me into the integral plans of God. Hmm. Number three, love and care. Hmm. Love. Yes, you don't just become a pastor by the name, for the name of it. You have to fit into the role. Some take pride in bearing the name pastor, but they don't want to take responsibility for it. You see, you have to work hard to fit into that role of a pastor. Because you are like a father. You have to solve their problems. You are like a shepherd over the sheep. You see, what you have today are wolves in sheep clothing. Yes, devouring the flock, destroying lives instead of building. But if you genuinely care for them, I mean you show them love. You mix their needs. They will not be gallivanting about. No, they will not gallivant about. Instead, they will be inviting their friends, families, and other relatives. Don't be a burden to them. Rather be a blessing. The blessing that you can be for them. Now, number four, the last one. It's nothing but prayer and prayer and prayer and prayer for the flock. You have to pray for them. You have to build an edge of fire, a wall of protection around them. Yes, you have to fight their fight and be all out for them. By this, they will know that you are, you are a true man of God and you deserve their respect. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Inside that liner that you are holding, I have about 1.2 billion lives. Those lives will be destroyed for your heavenly vision. <laughs> no man will be able to destroy you. Clement inclusive. What do you want to happen to Clement? I want Clement to be put to shame. That's number one. Number two, I want Clement to die. In other words, let Clement be put to shame before his death. That man, that man, that boy is mean a boy to me. He has dealt with me so much. Every other pastors in this town, they respect me. They worship me. They bow for me. But he talks to me anyhow. So, I want him to die a very shameful death. Shameful death. It shall definitely happen. It shall definitely happen. It shall definitely happen. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 My dear, please go to the washroom. Go and wash your face. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go and do that. Did I wash? Maria, yes. I believe you are alert now that you have washed your face. We need to talk. Mm -hmm. Some things are happening in this house within the last two weeks. 
Something happening. What's what was that? <sighs> yes, sir. First of all, I thank God for what God is using our lives to do. Great exploits. Our emphasis still remains on salvation, holiness, restitution, Holy Ghost baptism, one man, one wife. But I noticed that the more God helps and increases us in ministry, the shallower our commitment to God. <sighs> I noticed that you have lowered your tempo in prayers. You now increase your tempo in counseling people. You teach Bible study on the Bible study. But your personal in-depth Bible reading ah, is now low. Hours of prayer no longer follow your Sunday, Tuesday and Friday fasting. You fast now without prayers. I fast without prayer. Yes, sir. We call it prayer and fasting. But now, it's abstinence from food. A kind of suffering from hunger without food. Sir, you scolded me seriously those days when I dozed off during prayer. But now, you know those of when we are praying, especially in a Fiji like this. No, my dear, it is tiredness. <coughs> you know how tired I could be. So many people to pray for, so many people to counsel, so many people to teach the word of God, coupled with house to house evangelism, which you also know. Eh? That's the reason why sometimes I'm so tired. I'm sorry. <sighs> These things are secondary. The primary thing that we should lay emphasis on is our personal commitment to God. Our personal commitment to God is very, very important at this period. The devil is not a respecter of those things. But it's a respecter and treble at the volume of the fire we carried in our personal relationship with God. Sir, don't forget that we are in the midst of enemy. Woe to those that are is in Zion. My dear, <clears throat> I will change. There will be changes I will take to your counsel. Thank you very much. You know, that's what the Bible says. Two are better than one because they have good reward of their labor. God bless you. Shall we sleep? Let's pray. Huh? Let's pray. <sighs> let's sleep. Please, dear, let's pray. Let's sleep. <laughs> You no, know, soon, in the next four hours, you still wake me up so that you will pray. Eh? Please, let's sleep. Let's pray. You see, a lot of ministers forget about this fact. And they forget it at their own peril. Hmm. Ministerial works comes with a lot of activities, especially when it is expanding. A wise minister of God we deliberately and steadily set apart an hour, two hours, three hours, as God grant them the grace to commune with God. Ah! Sweetheart, the emphasis should be not you should take that time away from him. Oh, my God. Help me. Help my husband, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
Please help us. Don't leave my husband. Help him, oh God. Help us in the ministry. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God help my husband. Help us in this work of the ministry. Father, help my husband. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, Holy Ghost. Fire, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. I'm sleeping. Huh? I'm sleeping. No, I was praying. I was praying. Let's pray, let's pray. I was praying. You are sleeping, dear. I'm praying. You are sleeping. Bring your hand. Father, please help us. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, sir, we will we surely get him, sir. No problem, sir. He is already a corner. His chapter has closed forever. A corner. His chapter has closed forever. I love that. But it is not only his chapter that will be closed forever. His book will be closed forever. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, dear. Where are you? I'm heading to Chief Eniola's house to pick the car. Which car? Uh, uh, you have forgotten so soon that uh, Chief Enola said he's, he doesn't like the way we are trekking about on foot and that uh, we should, I should come and pick his fairly used car. I told you about it now. Oh, I cannot remember. But please, dear, you need to come home. There's an emergency. Yeah. What? Oh, emergency? What was it? Tell me, please. We need to pray. We need to pray. The Lord told me that there is danger ahead of us. A very big danger for that matter. Please come home. My dear, we've been praying for this car for some time now. And not that the answer has come. Please. I don't think I should turn my back on it. Sweetheart, that is not what I'm saying. The truth is that there is time for everything. This is the time for us to be in the presence of God and pray. We can collect the car later. My dear, the truth is that there is time for everything. We can do the prayer after I've collected the car. Sir, there's danger ahead. My dear, there is no danger ahead. You are the one seeing danger ahead. I am not seeing danger ahead. I am only seeing Jesus ahead. And with Jesus ahead, security is guaranteed. Bye, sweetheart. I love you. Okay, sir. I love you too. 
God will keep you for us. In Jesus' name. Thank you. My wife, my sweetheart, my own lady, my wife, my life, dead? No, 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 no. She cannot die. She must not die. She should not die. In short, she's not dead. She stood with me in the thick and thin of the battles of life. No, 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 she's not dead. No, she's not dead. She's not dead. Ah, no, it's not possible. Hello, my KBC. Leave the greetings, my prophet. Ah, my wife just passed on. Kabi, you said your wife did what? My wife just passed on. She died after a big illness. The doctor diagnosed colonic cancer. We took her to the state hospital in the interim so we could move her overseas. She died while we were trying to move her out of the country. The doctor said she's dead. But I know, I am certain, that nothing is impossible with you. The power that woke me when I died is still alive. I'm very potent to wake my wife up. Please, prophet, come and wake her up for me for any amount. I'm ready. Kabiesi, sorry to say this. You see, I can wake her up. But I won't do that. Ah! I won't wake her up. Because you belittled me. Why on her should you take her to the hospital? Without seeking for my consent. You should have told me. Before you took her to the hospital. Hmm? The spirit of God in me is telling me right now. That it is all over. For your wife. It's all over. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Prophet! Hello? Ah! 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 <laughs> What is in life? We struggled to get money. I dubiously and wickedly got the money. I bought cars, I built houses in virtually all the state capital of the country and overseas. I ate the best of foods and drank the best of wine with my wife. We bribed our way to be the king of this town. We got the position, but what did we get from it? Stress, noise, and talks of villagers. Now, my wife, who desperately wanted to be a queen in my palace, is now dead. What is in life? Nothing. I can say it confidently that life is vanity. It is vanity upon vanity. All is vanity indeed. As from today, I cease from being a king. Without being preached to, I want Jesus. Without being preached to, I want Jesus. I'm giving my life to Jesus today.
Hello, my dear. Hello, dear. <laughs> what happened? Why are you crying? What's wrong with you? Where are you? Sunday, the friend of that pop. Called about 30 minutes ago. That. 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 That what? Jesus! My Jesus! Oh, oh my father! Why me? Why me? What's it? Talk to me now. How is that boy? Is all well with him? I can't tell you now. Please come home. We need to pray. We need to pray, my dear. Hello? Hello, my dear. Jesus. Please talk to me now. Don't keep me in such place. Please. That boy. My only son. Hello, are you there? Ah, are you there? Ah. My only son, Jesus. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Oh. My son. The serpent of life to bite me. Ah! Yes, the serpent of life. Ah, you guys are. Oh, my dear. I'm sure that dead bone will be again. Dead bone will be again. We are going to win. I'm sure you will soon be on the way. Grace will enter this house. Joy will enter this house. In the mighty name of Jesus. A lot will happen to you. You will lose all. You will be in trauma. You will be in pains. You will shed very hot tears. You will gnash your teeth. You will gnash your teeth. <laughs> You've been great, great lamentation and tribulation for having the guts to fight with me. You're in serious trouble. <laughs> yes, yes, come here. Come here. Good day, sir. Uh -huh. I am Inspector Kuranga. He is Corporal Adiropu. We are from Divisional Police Headquarters. Olojojo. Police? We ah, no. Not this time around. We just lost our soul. Police, not now. Uh, uh, my dear, calm down. Calm down. Maybe the police have come to help us. You know, police is our friend. Asa, please, have you found the killer of our son? Hey, uh, sorry about that. So painful. We are actually here for another terrible reason. Terrible reason? What is this? And what did we do? We are ministers of God. 
a report reaching us a moment ago say you deal with art drug. Art drug? In Jesus' name. No. As a matter of fact, that is your main work. You just used preaching as a cover up. Ha! Ah, Jesus! Where is your face? Where are you hiding your face from what? Ah. I reject that in Jesus' name. Not me. Not me, not me. I refuse to accept that in the name of Jesus. Hard drugs. Where will, can, where will I get it? That is not even the worst. The worst is that you are. Huh? The worst? Huh? Madam. Yeah? You are free to go to the toilet. Eh? Go to the toilet. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Say what you want to say. I want to hear. Ma? You are urinating? This does not matter. I want to hear the worst. That worst, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Madam, the worst is that you are... My God. What? My God. I wish it is not you. But I must do my duty. What? What is it? The worst is that you are a pastor of the most high God. You kill human beings for ritual. Ah! My God! Jesus! You use people for juju in your church. I reject it in Jesus' name. Father, in the Jesus name of Jesus, is plot of evil. This is the plot of evil. I reject it, Father. Why this at this time? Why we? Why we, oh Lord, at this time? This is the devil. Devil, you are failed. In the mighty name of Jesus, concerning me, you are failed. Enemy of my progress, you are failed. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is devil. This devil. Well, it is not us. Please, look at the number of our houses. It is not us. Maybe it's another minister of God. Not me. Not me, oh, in Jesus' name. Not me. What is the meaning of that? There is such warrant. We are going to search the entire house. Search warrant? Ha! Ah. Uh. We don't have any skeleton in our cover. Come on, Sato! Come on, Sato! Come on, Sato! Search everywhere! My dear, we reject this in the name of Jesus. Maka so katalaraba. Len debo shakata. La 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 la. Maka so katalaraba. Stop it! Do you think we are here to play? Or you think this is a church? Before we do the searching, I must tell you this. If a drug is found in your house, it automatically means long prison term sentence. In Jesus' name! It will not be out. Again, if a dead woman body is found in your house, it means automatic death. I pray Baba will not die in Jesus' name. Jesus, amen. 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 Amen in Jesus' name. Amen in Jesus' name. Yeah, boo, boo, boo. Copra. Yes, boss. Go in with Baba. Go. And search the house. Right. I will be here with the wife. Don't find anything in Jesus' name. We are not in Mr. Man! Let's go and search this. Be fast! Be fast! Move, move! Holy Spirit! Holy Spirit! Jesus, where are you? Jesus, where are you? Jesus, Jesus, where are you? Holy Spirit, come and help us! Now, get ready for the straw that will break your camel's back. Your camel's back will be broken. Get ready for the last straw that will break your camel's back. Yes. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. 
Ah. An old man like you, a pastor, killing human beings to make money. Ah. This is serious. I know nothing about it. God knows. I know nothing about this. This is the work of the enemy. Yes. 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 You know nothing about this? I know, yes, yes, I don't know anything about it. Cobra. Yes, sir. Where did you see it? Under his bed. Oh. In the bedroom. Oh. And you ah. said you know nothing. This is not me. This is not me. You know nothing about this. This is not me. You cannot love my husband. I will not tolerate that. He's my husband. He's my pastor. He's my lover. I will not allow you to humiliate my husband. He did not do this. We are ministers of God. And I know. My God, we are right. Yes, I'm God. Where? Take your property. It's not his property. It's not my property. It's not his property. Are you alone? Take it. Take it. If I shoot you now, carry it. My dear. My dear. My dear. I thank you so much. You are being a very wonderful woman. Jesus. You are the most precious thing I have in life. You are very wonderful. I trust you. Oh, no, no, fail me. I you me. You stood by me. All this while you stood by me. My God will stand for you. My God will protect you. I surrender all. I surrender. Jesus Christ! Ha! What's happened to my father? Ha! Ha! The enemy. The enemy. The handwork of the enemy. But they are failed. Yes, they are failed. Oh, Jesus. They're taking me away. But I will come back. I will come back. I will come back. It. Stop it. Where are you taking this man of God to? Police officers, you listen to me. The enemy's leg has caught the wrong fish. Police officers, you listen to me. This man of God has done nothing wrong. This man of God is not guilty of the charges. I will prove it to you now. Now, now. This is the handiwork of spiritual forces. Yes. Policemen, you will see that power pass power in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This man is a representative of agent of darkness, sent to cause failure, lukewarmness, and disaster. The very day I saw him, I was uncomfortable. I asked God to reveal him to me. You are an agent sent by Pastor Samson, that fake pastor, to destroy this family and the church of God. You are an idiot. You don't know what you are saying. And I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> Officers, be yes. patient with me. Don't say I'm a small girl. <laughs> you will see things today. Why do the earth rage and people see a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against the Lord and against his anointed. David, your counsel and the counsel of your master, Samson, against this family and our church is destroyed and truncated in Jesus' name. Buki, don't start a war that will consume you and your family. <laughs> you are a bloody liar. I and my family and all the people watching me are covered by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I may be small. The blood of Jesus. But I am stronger than your forefather, the devil. Listen to me. I may be a small girl, but I am an arrow. A strong, piercing and destructive arrow in God's hands. This is what the Bible says. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of the youths. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them, for they shall not be ashamed, but he shall speak with the enemies in the gate. You and Samson had the enemies in the gate. Expose yourself. Tell me who you are in Jesus' name. I will bite you spiritually. I'm poison your life. 
You can't. Because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I carry fire. 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 I mean fire. I shall not be ashamed for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by the day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Tell me who you are after the count of three, or you will see the terror of the other edge of the sword of the Lord. I will put angels of destruction on assignment if you refuse to. Oh yeah, one. I won't confess. I confess. Fire. I will confess. Fire. I pity you. You are joking with the ministry of angels. God has given them to us Christians to send them on assignment. Confess three. Okay. You will see their hunger now. Angels of destruction. Ah, I will confess. I will confess. Jesus, this me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. This me that is responsible for this. Jesus, Jesus Christ. They live that we send into our house freely. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh. Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. Samson, the first prophet, pays me hundred thousand naira monthly to report all happenings here. <laughs> he killed, he killed the innocent, three month old baby. And gave it to me to bring it here with the cocaine to this place. <laughs> Enough, Mister Man. We've seen and known the truth. Now, Stop. yes. All the evil plan against you, we go back to sender. Now, Mister Man, carry evil arrow. Go back to your sender. Please go, go back to your sender. Uh, please. Hey. Daughter, your words have broken me down. Please, I want Jesus. I also want Jesus. Hallelujah. I also want Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I know I'm going to prison, but I want to repent too. I want to repent. Sir, please lead them all to Jesus. Please, can we lead them? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. For the victory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm a winner. Victory, victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the devil. Bata, bata. Praise the Lord. Oh, God, your face. God, your face. This is amazing. Just see the way the Lord rescued us. I just go to sleep. Go and see the face of the Lord. Okay. <laughs> hey! Holy Spirit, you Go. are wonderful. You are great. Holy Spirit, you are wonderful. You are great. And David. Imagine. Ah! Imagine. My David, God. that has so God. much trusted. David is I the same person the devil this. is using for, for against us. Jesus Christ. Imagine where I will have been now. Ah! Eh? Ah! Ah! Hey! Jesus. God is great. The what the only clouds? <sighs> that boss. Mm. My son, that boy. That boy. Mm. We follow this battle. Mm. What happened to you? A call, a call, a call, a call, a call. That boy. Which? That boy, my that boy. My son! <laughs> my dad. Ah, he's the one. He's the one. That boy. That boy. That boy. Are you the one? My son. Are you the one? I'm alive. Oh, oh. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory be to God. God. Where, are you? Where, are you? Where are you, my son? Where are you? The news trending was not true. Eh? Somebody else was Ibita Kwa Ibito Miwa Kimayawa was killed. That was Ibito Miwa, not Dakwa Makiwa. Ah, it can never be Dakwa Makiwa. It can never be Dakwa Makiwa. It can never be Dakwa Makiwa. Glory be to God. Where are you? I'm LD and ill. 
I'm in school. As a matter of fact, I'll be coming home tomorrow. Come on! Come on! You'll be coming! Yeah. Glory be come to on. Jesus! Come on! Oh, please yeah. come! Please come yeah. on! Yeah. Hey, glory be to God! Glory upon my God! The Lord is good! The Lord is great! Yes! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! Thank you. You are the almighty God. You are the almighty God. You are the almighty God. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. When I was a pastor of a seven members church, I was doing the work of God with joy. Until I began to get sensitive to persecution and comments of people. I looked for money from ritual practices. I got the money. I looked for fame. I, I, I got the fame. I looked for beautiful cars. I got them. I looked for women. I got them. But I have lost everything. The house, the car, the fame, everything gone. None of those things I got is of any value to me now. They are useless to me in this cell. Vanity. I know it will get to this. I know, I know. I know I will be called and I will be prosecuted one day. I know. I know that I can't be forgiven. Yet I was pleading for forgiveness. I'm not pleading for forgiveness for myself. But I'm pleading for forgiveness for those who have ruined their life to please forgive me. Ha! Ah, ah. Many pastors out there are like me. Combine the work of God with charms and diabolical practices. Please stop it. I plead with you to stop it. My day of Brother has finally come. <laughs> and your day of reckoning may come tomorrow or even today or next week. Your own day of reckoning may come anytime. Please, once more, stop it. I know I will be moved out of this cell to the court and I will be sentenced to death by hanging. I know. I know. I know. <laughs>